I've been to many of games in the top tier of English football, watching my beloved team, Sunderland, against the likes of Man United, Arsenal, Liverpool, and many more. But today I'd like to showcase the tiers all the way down the bottom of the football league. Well, non-league. And today I'm off to a little village called Ilsington, where actually TV Josh Widdicombe, who you may have heard of, actually went to primary school there. So join me on this rainy day, what a surprise, as I go and watch Ilsington Villa versus Britsom Town in the Herald Cup quarter final. And check out this route on the way because I'm going to be taking you <laughs> on proper Devon farm routes. Well, this is what happens. Devon Road. We have to go back for him. Right back. So that route I just went on actually wasn't even the route I was originally going to go on to because the road was closed. It was actually better and even then it was still pretty bad in terms of country road and with that lady out there. Um, I mean, she originally uh, kind of flashed me to say to go forward. And then I was like, all right, cool. And then she was just driving and reversing into a bush. So I thought, you know what, I'll reverse back. Uh, but yeah, but I just went to go down there. And just, uh, you might have just seen in the clip that I just spun the car around, obviously. I'm not going to show the whole 10 minutes. I'm just going to, I might speed it up actually. So it might be quite fast to look at, but in quite a like small area to park. And it didn't look like there was any space. I just thought I'll whack it there, which is Usington Country Spa. And the ground is just down here. So I hope the game's on because it's been horrible. And if a game in this lower tier can be on, again, remind me, why can't Plymouth Parkway, who are like five leagues above, not be on? Weird. Here we are, the home of Ilsington Villa. There's a nice little stand just there. Oh, 
Wow, what a goal. Fair play. Brilliant goal. It was in Tim Villa 2, Brixton Town 1. Oh, oh, shit. How did that go in? Oh! I don't know how that didn't go in. It's a fair play to that goalkeeper. What you probably can't see is I'm actually watching from like down. I've never been watching from down and watching the football up because it's quite a sloped pitch. I'm going to watch over there in the second half, I think. Oh. It was a proper game of non league football. It was in Tinvilla 3, Brits from Town 2. About 40 minutes played so far. Um, so the picture behind me, I've just found a little gap in the fence that it's like to have a little explore around. Um, I don't really know it was in that well. And um, bowls. I'll show you. It was actually really nice. There's a tennis, bowls, skate park, and a beautiful view if it wasn't raining. Over there, we have to have a look. So, I said with the pitch just behind me over there, I just thought I'd have a little wander around. Um, I do need the toilet as well. Uh, that's the good thing with non league, you know, queuing up for toilets, just find a hedge somewhere perfect. Um, yeah, it was really, really nice here actually, and I'm really enjoying myself. Obviously, it's horrible weather, I'd like to come again when it's actually better weather, but 3 2 at half time, not complaining at all. Lots of goals, lots of action. Obviously, it's a wet surface, so they've got good tackles sliding and everything. They're quite windy as well. So a few times the goalkeeper would do a cold kick and um, the ball would kind of come back on itself a little bit. But yeah, brilliant setup here. And I've even got a team shoe, which I haven't got out because it's been raining. I didn't want to get it wet, but I will have a little look through that. So I really, really do appreciate the club getting me or giving me this. So I've got all the players names on there i don't know who scored actually but yeah really really helpful actually so thank you i appreciate that i can see what that was over there as i'm walking through the gig park but i could have actually found a space down here but when i drove to about there it didn't look like this bit was here so it looked like it was completely full but the weird thing i saw is actually a park Interesting. I've never seen a park like that before, but fair enough. All right, I want to back up. Let's get into the second half. I'm going to go on the other side of the pitch, looking down here this time.
I guess until they may need it. So, ball, ball, Kyle. Go quill for my Lucas save. So full time now, it was in Tim Villa for Brixton Town 3 and what a fantastic game and you know obviously the point in the video of me going to lower leagues of non-league and showing you and showcasing it and showing the quality and showing what the clubs have and the facilities and everything like that and it did look like there was a little area at half time that um, there was a lady serving like teas and coffees it looks like i'm not too sure um but i didn't i didn't obviously go for any beverage i was just busy having a look around the area which is phenomenal and i parked here at ilsington country spa i think like i said we have par park in there and i could have parked there but when i first went down it looked like it was just really busy so I turned around and just parked here, which you, I mean, the ground, it's only there, it's only like less than a five minute walk. So I'm quite happy being parked here. Nice and easy to get out. Not too sure if I'm probably not meant to park here, but there's no sign saying I'm not allowed to, but uh, definitely a spa I'd like to go to. It looks quite nice, to be fair for us. Uh, but yeah, had a fantastic time. Really important to support lower league football, non league football, because you actually do make a difference by going there. Like yeah, that's free. It will free me going there, but I could have I could have like paid for some facilities. There is a, a a QR code that I forgot to get a picture of. I'm really sorry. Um, of you can like donate to help obviously the local club, but even just going to watch them play, you know that makes everything worthwhile. And they're doing it because for the love of the game, the players, and that that's what it means. You can sh see that they have the passion and they really want to get into that next round so they have obviously they're into the semi-final not too sure who that'll be against i mean maybe maybe i'll go along if i'm if i'm available but i always do want to kind of move over not move over completely but show all the local clubs near me to really showcase all the local clubs obviously in devon and area so i want to be going uh to Timmouth, I want to be going. I mean, you know, the Britsom Town. I went past their ground when uh, on Boxing Day when me and Dexter went to Britsom versus Buckland. I went past their Britsom Town ground, um, and that looked nice as well. And a Glogan Bubble one nearby me that just kind of similar to that. And that that is you know, of the lower bottom of the the whole tier of the whole country in England of non league, and that's what it is. So that was my aim today to go to a game in the lower tiers of Nong League and obviously I had did that. So if you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe because it means a lot and I'm 111 away from that big 1000 subscribers. So thank you for watching if you have Dick Lucas A go and buy it it's very good I'm not sponsored I'm not doing an AJ but go and buy it it's actually really good. So yeah have a fantastic evening and I'll see you on Tuesday for another football game.